Hello, my name is Elizabeth Cordeiro. I am a PGA student from University of Coimbra, from Portugal. I will present here a study that was made recently in Portugal and is available on my master's degree. The supervisor was Antonio Lessa Coelho, uh, that helped me with the, this study. And beside this study, I will give you an overview of a new project that are starting to develop in, in Portugal and uh, is uh, the program of uh, uh, João Almeida, the, the PDH student too, and the supervisor uh, Ros uh, Dr. Ros uh, Rosetti and uh, Dr. Daniel Lesset Quay. I give the, the overview of this new project because in the way it's connected with this study. Just uh, the outline of the presentation. I'll give you an introduction why the study was made, show some results, uh, overview of the new project and the uh, conclusions and further studies that we are going to do or we already start. Uh, <coughs> the study of the implication of the people behaviors and the fire condition have been studied for several years and we can say decades by different persons. After reading several studies, we concluded that when the, knowing that the fire is taking place, not all the occupants decide immediately to leave the building rating every action or action whose consequent will increase the evacuation time. The process of the evacuation, <coughs> uh, the building evacuation can be divided in three distinct phases. We have the first phase when the fire starts until it's detected. The second phase when the time between the occupants being aware of the fire and their decision to leave the building. And finally, the, the third phase when the evacuation itself begins and ends when every occupant has left the building. Some years ago in Portugal, a development of a building fire risk analysis model called MERI was started, in, consisting of 11 partial models. About a complete implementation of MERI is still far from being a reality. Some preliminary work has been done. I'd like the descriptive building of mod, the model and the evacuation model. As regards the evacuation model, at the time of its development, some aspects were not considered, or they were treated with extreme simplicity amount which are those related to the people behavior. The evacuation model simulates in, in detail the third phase, but ignore what happens before the occupants have decided leaving the building. The, the, the main objective is to develop a model that will have the three phase mentioned, and for that is necessary understand the occupant behavior and the fire situation. And this study is the first step in Portugal towards such wall. To see some uh, result of the study, of the preliminary study, 225 persons replied to the questionnaire. The questionnaire was sent by internet or by people we knew that can uh, say, send to other people and we have uh, 225 uh, persons to reply the questionnaire. Some characteristics are in the way just to the Portuguese reality, namely the gender, the age group, and the fire safety training. We emphasize the fact that the 50 of the 225 respond had already been confronted with a fire situation, a fact that is relevant to establish correlations with those who have never such an experience. Before initiating this study, we had the idea that the reaction of the occupants during a fire could be influenced by the relation they have with the building. But 53% of the respondents say they will have the same behavior. When analyzing the answer given by who already be confronted with a fire situation, we still we have 54% of the respondents say they will have the same behavior. We can say there are no uh, 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 great difference. There are no difference. Try and understand, try understand whether the respondents are aware of the evacuation plan of the building they attend. It was found that 63 respond negatively, with the percentage very similar to the female and male gender. On the, on the other hand, it was found that 97% said they can identify the emerging exit. That percentage dropped significantly with regard to its location in the building that they intend, since only 56% declared to have this acknowledged. In this study, it was verified that of the 72 respondents with training in the fire safety, 
50 shoes in an emergency situation to pet the use in a normal, normal situation. Of the 153 respondents who have training in this area, 52 also choose the pet they normally use to leave the building. This can influence the time, the time of the evacuation of the building. The chance of panic referred by the respondent. 93% of the respondents consider in, they're considered in the fire situation there will panic. The possibility of the panic in the fire situation among the respondents is confirmed by the answer given by those who have an experience. In effect, from the 50 respondents that already experienced it, 48 mentioned the people panic. Helping others can be crucial, especially for disabled occupants. From the overview of the answers to this question revealed that 61% mentioned to it that it exists, while 38 think that is not the case. We emphasize on the female gen who express a great belief in that spirit that men. One other objective of the survey was to know how the people are aware of the existence of a fire. From the overall analysis of the response, it was found that the most mentioned factor was the smell of smoke, followed by the alarm, while the third was concerned with the visualization of smoke, and finally the unusual movement of the occupant and strange noise. When the analysis of it is done regarding the training, reveal a change on the result of the overall analysis onto the third most referred answer. For that, the response with trainer said that strange noise instead of visualization of smoke. The occupant with train are more sensible or alert some aspects related with the fire. Another issue of the survey is try to identify the reaction of the occupants after being aware that something unusual is going on, not knowing if it corresponds or not to a fire. From the analysis of the response, it was observed that 36% refer investigate what was happening, while 33 indicate leave the place on its own initiative, followed by warm others with 27%. Previous involving the fire show significant influence. As a first reaction, in that case, we have investigated what was happened with 43%, followed by worms with 30%, and only then leave the place on this own initiative with 23%. The existence of alarm signal has now become widespread in many Portuguese buildings. For, for this system to represent an additional help it's crucial that the occupants can identify the hazard associated to this alarm. From the general analysis of the response give, it seems that 40% of the response indicate the, in the incident it's considered as a fire, while 27 presume <coughs> begin before an exercise of evacuation, and 3% that the alarm is a result of operation maintenance, and finally 12% that's due a real fire. The efficacy of an automatic fire alarm and detection system depends not only on the correct interpretation of the signal, but also on the reaction that the occupants have to the alarm. From the general analysis of the response given, the predominant reaction was find out what was happening, while a percentage, with a percentage of 65% which exceed for all others, followed by leave the place to leave, to leave the building with 50%. In order to understand the influence of the low visibility of the evacuation pathway due to the smoke on the behavior of the occupants, the inquiry contained a question on this matter. Of the response given, 65% show the most frequent reaction, try another way to get out of the building, followed by investigate to fight the fire with 26%. The behavior of the, pe the people when confronted with a direct fire will be not the, not the same as when they know only about the fire being hearing an alarm signal or by somebody else warming or even by seeing smoke or flames. Trying to evaluate such influence on the behavior of the inquiry had a question on that matter. And it seemed that uh, 57 of the response will react to direct contact by try another way to get out of the building following by ask, ask for help with 22% and fight the fire with 70%. Regarding the gender, it seemed that the woman is more for ask for help and the men more for fight the fire. 
uh, the new project that uh, is started or re recently started in Portugal, uh, uh, one of the main issues is how to capture the behavioral characteristics of the subject, especially under stress. Uh, the approach of this project is through the combination of social simulation using ABMS and serious game. The idea is the human in the loop concept does mixing computer simulation with humans. Repeatedly train evacuation procedure, procedures using computer simulation will create long-term react, reactive behavior so that when facing a real situation, the subject will react automatically. It's the same as an airplane and a, the pilot. The, this project is to create a computer simulation model with a 3D scenario using as much ready-made software application as possible. Uh, in black, uh, is there are the, the, is the software there are already, we have already the software uh, is the, are available, and the blue is what is to be developed. The simulator using game engine user will sit their avatar to the exit. The data generator will be used for later analysis and to elicit the behavior of the user affecting their decision while playing the game. The result of the study mentioned before, plus others like the Kuligowski behaviors models, will in the same uh, will be used for the behavior model. The idea is to compare the mixture of the behavior, human and computer agent, in the same simulation model and observe the interactions between them, using the human in the loop concept and trying to elicit emergent behavior. It is accept to be able to use the result to analyze the validate and calibrate the evacuation strategy and plan to the true simulation. This project is currently doing, uh, is developing the LIAC University of Porto. As a conclusion from the study, we, we see that in, Portu in Portugal, the people think and uh, the people answer the, the question with already being confronted with a fire the panic is present. It's, the, it's a different idea than what we read from the, the several studies, uh, different, uh, the, not for the Portuguese society. A little influence of the fire safety training uh, on the acknowledge of the evacuation of pathway, on the choice of the evacuation of pathway during the fire, because 50% of the, the, the person who replied the question with the, of training in this area, will it chose the pathway normally we use to in a normal situation. Uncertain reaction by the occupant during a fire. He a little influence on the previous experience with the fire. I shall say that the result of present here must be read carefully because they only represent the actual state of the study and therefore they are still far from what we can be considered to characterization the Portuguese behavior in the relation to the fire. To follow our further studies and the, the future studies that we are going to do, is the, or, the old, original survey was reformulated and it was initiated a second round of data collected data involved users and staff of two big shopping centers of Lisbon and the fire drill analysis that will later on be analyzed because we have access to the video and you can see what the people have done when they know, when they, they hear the alarm because they were not prepared to the, the, the evacuation plan. This study will be explained to different kinds of buildings so that we can collect enough information to make the model and generate a use and not just to particular a situation. We want to create a, a use database and then we can create a model that can define or can uh, use for any kind of the building. And finally, the, 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 the main or the the, the principal object in the end is to create a model that will have the three phases mentioned before. Any questions? And any questions? <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth. I have some questions. We'll start at the front, come back to you, Mike. So the survey that you sent out to people, mm -hmm. the respondents, had they been in a fire situation? Fifty already have been in a fire situation. How many? Uh, Fifty. Fifty of them. Yeah. So when you ask uh, about the panic question, or you mm -hmm. ask about 
uh, the reactions when they were faced with a fire. No, you, you, uh, the question was uh, if the people panic in a situation of fire. It was to see how the people, in the 93% reply, yes. But there was we, only we, a small number who were actually in a fire, correct? Uh, a small uh, 50, 50. Right, out uh, of 225. So how could the other individuals know how they would react is, uh, if they had not been in a fire? We can say it's because the information that we see, the, then they hear about in the TV, this, the, that information gives the people the idea that in a situation of fire there is a panic. We think that's not the case, but that, uh, that the idea that passed to the other people will not, will not, or they are not in the, never ever confront with the fire. Okay, well, I, I agree with you. I, I, I don't think that that's the case, that people are going to panic. And I think a lot of the times, and it sounds like it's the case in Portugal, that the, that the uh, media really uh, Best categorizes all of the response of people as panic. Mm -hmm. So it might be that the occupant feels that that might be the case, but it, it really is very rare. So I, when I saw your conclusions, I was a bit confused as to whether you believed that it was the case. No, it was what the study, not what we, we believe. My comments is exactly the same as Eric, because I'll be very careful with that 93% panic. But what you're getting is people's perception of what they think other people are going to do. Yeah. And so you just be really careful with that sort of statement. But someone's going to say 93% of people panic in fires. What you're saying is 93% of other people have not been in fires think other people panic. But, but just, be, just, just, really just, just, just in the paper uh, is right. For, uh, the 50 of the 50 percent uh, person who reply with a, with a, already a situation of fire, 48 mentioned it panic, the people panic. But they were trying to find information. They were trying to make a decision. That that's not necessarily a definition of panic. So so you just be really careful. People, you know, when you say, "Did you panic?" Oh yes, I panicked. But 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 that. You know, they, 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 were, they were kind of saying, oh, I'm trying to decide what to do. And, you know, the, I, I think just asking someone who, whether they panicked or not, and then, you, then they say yes, and you say, oh, well, 93% of people panic, is a very, you're on very tenuous ground there. Mm -hmm. just, just be really careful about that. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions? Okay, good. So